you just do it, it'll turn out okay. And I am back with my re-record of Dr. Over 2 Goodbye Despair from when my PS4 crashed on me. Now I'm PS5 graphics. I'm not really different, I don't think. But anyways, let's get started. Again. Hopefully better than last time. Options. Go hard mode, people. Let's make me sweat for this game. Hey. Can you hear me? Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. Hey. Are you listening? No. I'm ignoring you, hoping you go away. I don't understand. Why am I here? What happened? I should try to remember that first. Let me think. Back. I began to think, distangling the, the knot, twisted knots that have formed in my mind. Think, think. Think, think, think. As I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. Meep. Meep. That's right. I. I. Goodbye, despair. That day, this wasn't a typical day for me. The day that felt truly significant. And when that long way day finally came, I finally came, I felt proud in a way I can't really put into words. I felt like I had just become a part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? <laughs> Actually, that's what exactly what it, like, that's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. Hope's Peak Academy. That place is so much more than school to me. Kids who love to play baseball will, will long to join the major leagues. Kids who love to, to play soccer will long to join a rip team. Ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak Academy is a government-funded school for the privilege of, of society. 
recruits the top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope, and doing so shape the future. Never hope to speak academy as it mentioned, it, it's only a matter of time before that someone says, if you come here and man they graduate, you'll be set for life. And just so you know, that's not a joke or exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of various industries are actually alumni of this school. Well, that's basically what Hope Speak Academy is after about. As, as they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. There are two criteria you must meet in, in order to attend this school. One, you must be, cur be a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exams at this academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. That is how Hope Speak Academy operates. Not because of the talent of those who are chosen. The students of Hope Speak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I am finally going to Hope Speak Academy, the school I desire more than anything else, the truth is my circumstances are a little different than my, that of my peers. Well, I guess I can put that aside for now. You'll find out soon enough, and it's nothing special worth talking about, I, I think. Anyway, I guess I should start introducing myself first. I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself, and formalities are always a little embarrassing. Well, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should think about it. My name is Hajime Hinata. There's only one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity or a superhero. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. That's why, to feel like a member of society, to become someone I can be proud of, I always wanted to... For that reason alone, I always wanted to. Based on alone, I always, 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 always. I never want to admit how painful ordinary I am. That's why I hope. I had my air talent. What my trick? What is this? It's a door. There's a door. Still, I need to hurry. Because I need to go inside this classroom. Need? What need? No, I should hurry. goes there uh. um are you feeling all right you look quite pale uh, um hey could you be you're also a freshman at the school right uh, then you're all See for yourself. We're all freshmen, too. These guys? Everyone? The freshmen who accepted up to the academy? The ultimate? I assume. Freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. Gathered? Hmm. Hey, why don't you just come inside for now? Uh, yes. Of course. Wait, for me, it's a polite. I know they're called ultimate, but they're still high school students like me. That's right, first impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to act more confident. 
thus to hide my nervousness from the others, and while trying to my very best to act cool, I stepped inside and closed the door behind me and sat in an open seat in the back of the classroom. Anyway, what just happened earlier? I wanted to be here, and the classroom door appeared right in front of me, as if I was drawn to it. But how did I walk to this classroom? I don't remember. Something's weird. Uh, excuse me? What? What is it? Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one's thinking anything about coming here, so is there like an interesting ceremony or homeroom happening now? Hmm. Actually, we just about to discuss that matter. Discuss? It's all clear now. Well, since you're the last student to arrive, let's start this discussion. Ah! And this is everyone, how do you know? <laughs> but there are only 16 desks in this classroom. And this is the guy is the 16th student. Such ignorance. It's obvious if you bother to think about it. Mm -hmm. Just what are we gonna talk about? The, re the reason we're all gathered here in this classroom? <laughs> First I need to confirm something of everyone here. Is there anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? Eh? We all looked around at each other. Surprise look appeared on everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. I see. So before you realized it, you're in this classroom, and everyone here is in the same predicament. Very strange. No matter how you look at it, it is unnatural. Even you stupid looking ones would agree, right? What's going on? It sure is strange. No one actually seems to remember how they got they came here. Hey! Hey, what do you mean stupid looking? What do you mean stupid looking? So in other words... The moment you stepped foot on campus, you felt a strange dizziness, and now you're here. And you don't know why. <laughs> That's what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true of all of you? That happened to me too, but... Huh? Huh? That this is... This wasn't just me? Everyone felt the same dizziness? That's weird. Like... Uh, even if it's a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. Naturally. So, you're saying that's not just a coincidence then? Huh? So, in other words... Me meaning, we can only speculate who's responsible for this strange phenomenon. Who's responsible? What is it? It feels like this is going to be even stranger. Huh? Ha! I don't know what you're worried about, but that doesn't sound like a huge deal. Huh? What do you mean? What do you mean? So what I mean is... I mean it's a minor problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave. What's that mean? Huh? What do you, what do you mean we can't leave? Impossible! Seriously? I watched him run, rush over to the door and try with all his might to pull it open, but... Huh? It won't open! I can't open it! Huh? Why? <coughs> a little while here after I got here, I tried to leave to go take a shoot! But that the not budge at all! Hey! Hey! What's going on? What's, go what's going on? Sheesh! Even with all my might, I couldn't open it. <coughs> It'd be impossible. Like, possibly impossible for, the, for all of you. What? What do you mean you can't open it? Wait, I thought that possible. <coughs> She's right. It's impossible. Because I went to the door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. 
Look, I don't understand what forces are at work here. Anyway. There's no denying we've been locked inside this classroom. Locked inside? What do you mean? Some become aware of how heavy my body felt. As though a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. Are we screwed? Maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous? This is... Or perhaps, or perhaps it makes more sense to think that this is the entrance exam? Entrance exam, you mean Hope Academy Academies? However... But according to Hope Academy, no such entrance exam exists. But... They may say that public, but it's possible that this is a special entrance exam. That's wrong! This is not a district exam? What? Was that just now? Hey, bastard! Hey, fat ass, why do you make that cute voice all of a sudden? Hmm. I won't dispute the blunt remark about my weight, but that voice you just heard was not mine. Huh? Uh, then whose is it? Um. It's actually mine! <laughs> Who's there? Where are you? Perhaps. It sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. Behind the teacher's desk? Hello! Alright, I see everyone's arrived. Let's begin. Looks like a stuffed animal. That's right! I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal! Magical Miracle Girl Usami! AKA Usami! I may not look like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher! Nice to meet you all! Huh? Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seen this? What's going on? Yeah, I see it too. Huh? This is Chopping Chihuahua. Ah! Yeah, that's, a, that's a Chihuahua? Everyone! Does everyone here know what a rabbit is? It's a lovable animal that's fluffy and very soft. <laughs> that's what I am, a singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot. Huh? Oh, hold on, let me pause this first. Um, what do you guys think? I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing and dance and talk before. Hmm. It probably is a remote control or something. Don't have to put a over a child's toy. Hmm. Even, even if it's life, if it's remote controlled, doesn't it look too lifelike? That's pretty advanced for a toy. Stop talking. It's movement and mannerisms are not just are not the issue. More importantly, based on what it just said. Come on. It seems that you know something about our current situation. Leave it to me. Well, of course I do. I'm the teacher. Of this, I'm the lead teacher of the school trip. What did you say? School trip. Come on. Hey, what do you mean school trip? <laughs> A large group of students go on a chaperone trip with a lead teacher. The biggest trip been of the school year. It's not like that's a literal answer. Ding 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 ding! That was the part for the fun school trip. The part. Just my eyes, my brain too. The world just stopped making sense. The classroom collapsed like a stage set. 
that would appear to heal me instead was blue sky, white clouds, blue seas, white waves. What? The hell is this? Uh, no how much I tried to rationalize it, it was abnormal, truly unreasonable, utterly crazy, completely wrong. like your heart is being lost clean, isn't it? It must away everything, even all the bad things. Hold on! Give us the details. Where, where in the world are we? Um... Where, you ask? Well, obviously, we're... Yahoo! Outwards better. Outwards weather. Ta-da! Out by the sea. Is <laughs> the sea? What are we doing here? Um... It's the horse you keep screaming like that. Something like this. Look at this school. And now we are here by the sea. This is impossible. No problem. But do not worry. The school trip has just started. That's all. Hold on a sec. But why are we on a school trip? All of a sudden, we totally skipped the all the stuff that came first. Uh, see, you're right. We're supposed to be attending Hilfi Academy. I see. Academy. I see, I see. You don't say. I guess I'm feeling unsure about Spooky Academy. Then, in that case... Alrighty! Just forget about Spooky Academy. That's why we're having a school trip in the first place. Huh? Bastard! What the hell do you mean to forget about it? Come on. Hey, where are you... What are you? What are you scheming? Oh, uh... I'm not scheming anything. I'm doing this for everyone's sake. I'm fighting from the bottom of my heart. The hope will grow within everyone's heart. No problem. There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever. So please, don't need to worry at all. Wait. Island? Did you say island? Ta-da! Yep, it certainly is beautiful. It is prepared just for us. An island free from other people in danger. Are you saying this island is uninhabited? Could it be? Perhaps we could... Perhaps you've come to the Inhabit Island. They just kill each other. Oh, uh, they kill each other? Yes. No, no way. Funny business, like, because the violence are fucking pain is a big problem now on this island. Even saying the word kill just horrifies me. Just saying it horrifies me. Yeah. So scary. What are you thinking? Then. And what is this school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this island? Ta-da! Alrighty! I shall announce it to everyone right now! Got it? Well, you all relax in this school par island paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. That's the main rule on this cut thriving school trip! What did you say? Heart thriving school? Heart thriving school trip? That's right! Spend these peaceful days relaxing and more some hope. Thinking about the free from pain, the free from suffering. Truly, this lovely, deadly heart thumping school trip is. Everyone's homework! What? What the hell does that even mean? Now then, let the heart throbbing school trip begin! It goes without saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. I didn't follow her words at all. And then, just like that, like this curtain slowly lowering. My mind ground to a halt. 